welcome to BNC Sports. I'm James Hill. NFL kickoff for Super Bowl 55 is less than 24 hours away, folks. The AFC Super Bowl defending champion Kansas City Chiefs versus the NFC champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That sounds so good. Here's what five-time Pro Bowl wideout Tyreek Hill told me. It's my cousin right here. What's up, cousin? Hey, how's it going, family? Got a, got a question. The uh, Super Bowl, uh, talk about using this as a business trip, going back and, and earning uh, another W and, and collecting a ring. Uh, Yeah, man. Um, this is definitely a business trip, like you said. You know, um, hopefully we can go down and uh, we can take care of business. You know, so that's what we're looking forward to. You know, so that's why every day we come into work, we work hard, practice hard, play fast, and we do all of that. What do you do between now and kickoff? Uh, talk about the tunnel vision and just getting it done and, and focusing. Man, I'm about to go home and play Fortnite. That's the only tunnel vision that I got. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, some Warzone with Dieter. <laughs> yeah, man. This is another game week, man. That's Tyreek Hill. From HBCU to the NFL, Parnell Pay Dirt Dickinson is a Mississippi Valley State University Hall of Famer. He's a trailblazer. Parnell Dickinson is the first black quarterback to play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Check out this BNC Sports exclusive part one. It was one of those feelings that uh, it, it's, it's, it's kind of unexplainable to, 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 you know, to really explain it to you, but it's an awesome feeling, even though I was coming to an expansion ball club, but just the fact that I'd come from a small school in Brighton, Alabama, Brighton High School. My high school coach was Alfred Pop Hall, and I played with a lot of my friends in high school, and I ended up going from Brighton High School, you know, to Mississippi Valley, and then from Mississippi Valley to the National Football League as a African-American and playing a position that only four other African Americans had played that position in the National Football League, who was, you know, you had Marlon Briscoe, you had Joe Gilliam, you had Shaq Harris, Shaq, who has been one of my mentors and who is still somebody that I look up to now. And then now I'm going coming into the National Football League as a you mean being drafted as a quarterback. There were some that had gone to the NFL, but I was one of the ones that was drafted. So that was that was quite a it was it was it was quite a day, you know, and it's it's a day, you know, that I'll never forget. And um, you know, and it's one of those days that you know sometimes you know at my age now you you know you you, you kind of it kind of pops up in your mind every now and then. You know, you can't relive those moments, but you can you can also you can often think about them and just kind of smile and say, "Wow, you know, that was that was really something." All right, pay dirt. College basketball, ninth ranked Oklahoma hosting Iowa State. First half, Elijah Harkless flips in two of his 19 points. 12 to 4, Sooners. Still, first half, Razier Bolton stops and, yes, give him three of his 21 points. 18 16, Cyclones. Later in the first half, Umoja Gibson, top of the key, money. Three of his 18 points. Oklahoma circling the wagons. Oklahoma 79, Iowa State 70. Your final Major League Baseball Associated Press. According to the AP, the Atlanta Braves are bringing back Markel Ozuna. The new four-year deal is worth $64 million. According to the Braves, the fifth season includes a club option for $16 million or a $1 million buyout. Ozuna slapped 18 home runs and drove in 56 runs, leading the National League last season. Ozuna, the slugger, is back with a guaranteed $65 million to keep hitting baseball for the Atlanta Braves. All right, folks, finally it's time for our BNC King of the Hill. He's known as the first black quarterback to win the NFL Super Bowl. Former Grambling quarterback Doug Williams 
is our King of the Hill. Doug Williams was born August 9th, 1955 in Zachary, Louisiana. He's a former Grambling State quarterback for coach Eddie Robinson, the legend. Williams is also known for making history as the first black quarterback winning Super Bowl 22 on January 31st, 1988. Doug Williams passed for 340 yards and four touchdowns. Washington football team 42, Denver Broncos 10. The final, Doug Williams is currently the senior advisor to the WFT president, Jason Wright. He's also the co-founder of the Black College Football Hall of Fame. Doug Williams is one of the greatest of all time from Grambling State University. Doug Williams is our BNC King of the Hill. And watching this game going into this big weekend. <laughs> oh, man, a huge game tomorrow. Mm -hmm. A lot of history on the line. Mm -hmm. For sure. I mean, think about James where you were. You talk about 1988 um, with his, him winning the first Super Bowl as a black quarterback. I mean, just think it back to that time. What do you remember? You know, I was over in a corner collecting baseball cards, listening to games and watching announcers. And in fact, James Brown, who is doing the 10th uh, Super Bowl tomorrow, he was calling a lot of games. So you were over in a corner admiring all these guys. And here we are years later. Uh, it's very special. You know, Doug Williams is certainly a, a very uh, symbolic figure. Mm -hmm. uh, as one gentleman called him, he, he called him, quote, unquote, the uh, Martin Luther King of football. Wow. Yeah, believe that. That's what his son uh, told me. And also, when you look at tomorrow's game, you see uh, Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. uh, they're using terms like dynasty, uh, the team to beat, teams like that, you know. And, and, and so it's very interesting to look at Kansas City, and obviously they're going through some turmoil right now. There was a, a car accident, and so... Everybody who is usually there won't be on the sideline tomorrow. But also you look at Tampa and you look at Tom Brady and what right. he's been able to do and uh, possibly to win his seventh Super Bowl ring tomorrow. He's already a legend, so he's getting comparisons as the greatest of all time. Uh, they call him the GOAT. Yeah. And uh, kickoff tomorrow down in Tampa. Who holds that record? Look at me, like doing your sports trip. <laughs> <James. laughs> <laughs> well, right now, currently, he has six world championship rings, Super Bowl championship rings. He won those with New England Patriots. Mm -hmm. So he was brought into the Tampa Bay Buccaneers organization to do a job. They paid him a lot of money. They gave yep. him a two-year opportunity, and they said, hey, help us get to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're hosting the Super Bowl. So tomorrow... When the sun comes up or if the rain shine, rain, mm -hmm. if it's rain or shine, tomorrow when everyone looks at Tampa, uh, it will be a sight to see. I mean, and then just looking <laughs> at the fact that this is, I mean, a historic moment. The first time a team is actually playing in the Super Bowl in their own den. <laughs> very special. You know what very I mean? Very special. So, yes. Yeah. yeah, that's very different. Oftentimes uh, teams don't play at home. Mm -hmm. You know, Florida is a, a really wonderful site because teams want to enjoy uh, warm weather and get out of the cold and the snow. But, yes, yeah, so tomorrow, Super Bowl 55, all eyes on Tampa, and we will keep you posted. All right, James.